Hey there guys and gals, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. There hasn't been any of this for a while because shit has happened. I've tried to record it two times already and shit happened. But hopefully everything's fucking working now, so let's go with it. Let's not. I already know who fucking done it too because I've tried to fucking record this twice. That means fuck all. That's ironic. あがくれくん。残念ですが、こんな証拠もあるのですよ。あのコスプレ衣装の設計図です。それと、あの衣装の制作に使われたと思われる。これら部品の数々、全てあなたの部屋から見つかったものです。これらが動かない。いや、そう
根拠はあるのですかあの不審者が犯人ではないという根拠はもちろんだだがその前にはっきりさせておかねばならないこともあるまずはそれについて話しておくとしようちょっともったいぶらないでよ物事には順序というものがあるんだそれで何なのだ先にはっきりさせておかねばならぬこととは石丸の死体の運搬方法についてだ That seems easy enough. あいつの死体が運搬された際どうやらあるものが使われたようなのだなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうかなどうか What's with the attitude? えっと、一応説明しとくと。物理準備室から消えた石丸くんの死体が美術倉庫で再発見された時、彼の死体はビニールシートの車で移動ね。このビニールシートって物理準備室にあったものと同じものだったんだよ。Yep, yep, 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 yep. Hanninga, Butri Jimbist, Karishimarukun no Stayo Hakobida Sai, Sokonia Tabinil Sito, Scatanjanakano, Stayno Idochuni, Hekongo no Costa Shimana Yung. But there wouldn't have been that much blood to begin with if they were going to move the body, considering when the fuck it was murdered. Sorone Saishoni. Like that amount of blood is semi believable. But Jesus Christ, it wouldn't have created more. The blood would have been coagulated by then. Also, why the fuck does his Fumi have a smaller blood stain? ですが、それは思い違いではありませんか。最初に物理準備室で石丸くんの死体を発見。ああ、here Mm. Look who's chiming in this fucking crash trial. Objection! Oh, wrong game. Hold on. Uh. Fuck up. I ain't accepted that. Wow, I've never heard anyone be so ma nice about her being so mean. But maybe I can change her mind. If I can just explain to them why the dolly must have been moved to from the equipment room to the repository. Yeah, element has been bitten. Now. It's about the bullets. You press X to reload them, or... I don't know what the fuck it is on the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> できません。おばかさん。痛い人。嘘は通用しません。おいきなさい。みじめですわね。賛同できません。おばかさん。上等ですわ。勘違いですわ。賛同できません。おばかさん。ファック。オッケー。勘違いです。Alright, now shut the fuck up, Celeste. Sit down and shut up, bitch. Ano, 
それと同じタイヤの跡が物理準備室の血だまりにも残ってたんだ。What that was easy enough. きっと、犯人が物理準備室から死体を運び出す際に、誤って台車のタイヤに血をつけてしまって。Surely, most of that blood would have been dried within that time frame. I mean, the shit that they were doing. Christ. Would have been a few hours. Jeez. Does Celeste really hate me that much? The shit that they were doing would have taken place. What? Two, if not three hours after? Fucking blood would have dried a bit by, ne- by then. And I'm pretty sure most of the blood would have coagulated anyway. But then again, I'm not a forensic specialist. If I look at how the body was moved, it will be clear why the person in the suit couldn't have done it. What does he mean by that? He means he can't bend at the waist. Busty, your feet. So he wouldn't have even been able to get up the fucking stairs. Yes. Yes. Yep. 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 You would not be able to get into a position like that, no. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like pretty obvious oversight. Indeed, it would be. But you can't see your feet. There's absolutely no chance the body was taken off to move the body because you can't take it off by yourself. I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? Why would you make something you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make this stupid friggin' thing! There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from ke- getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get out of it on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. Of course he was. Of course he wasn't. 
I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, he couldn't have. I'll be quiet. Sit back down, Celeste. Celeste. Images can be faked. If the image how did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Uh, Robo Justice. Uh, that's why I decided to call him just now. Without a doubt. そのそれに事件が起きた時にいなかったキリギリちゃんへの説明も兼ねるんだ。いくら待っても他のものが来ないので、我らはその連中の捜索を開始することにしたんだ。そこで手分けした直後からキリギリちゃんがいなくなっちゃったんだよね。その後、朝日奈は3階の娯楽室でセレスを見つけ、慌てて
He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he decided to head further down into the hallway and disappeared. What? I am not voicing that. Huh? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been. Hifumi, he's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. そして、Oh, if you like not attack his body like that, it makes it look more believable about the bloodstain. But in game, the fucking bloodstain is huge. Yifumi's body has disappeared. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all of this or something?消えた二人の死体の捜索に取り掛かった。そして well, that would seem very obvious. Alright. Sounds like a plan. The contradictions hidden in what happened to Taka. In order to uncover the truth of this case, I have to find them no matter what. Alright. No, we don't. Okay. The order just hammers, blah blah blah. Okay. Eat that. There we go. Okay, one more time. 
Oh, you're doing. Shut the fuck up. ジャスティスハンマーの順番が殺された順番とは限らないはずだよ。こういうより、それ自体が犯人の偽装工作だと考えられるんじゃないかな。あのジャスティスハンマーの番号が犯人の偽装工作という。Yes。実際に殺された順
可能なのは山田君の殺害に限ったことではありませんその後の死体消失の件もそうですわ保健室から山田君の死体が消えた時私と朝比奈さんは一緒にトイレにいましたし他の皆さんは物理準備室にいらしたのですが、ね、それに物理準備室から石丸君の死体が消えた時もそうですわあの時私たちは山田君の死体消失の件で全員保健室に集まっていたのです私だけはずーっと物理準備室でまた器用だったけどね、uh, there was a little bit of lag there A little bag of lag. Ooh, little bit of lag here, too. Why is it lagging? Stop lagging. It's getting annoying. つまり山田君の殺害もその後の2人の死体消失も私たちにはそれが可能だったのにそれらが可能だったのは姿を消していた羽賀くれ君かキリギリさんだけですわキリギリさんどうするこのまま誰がやったかを話し合っていても話が堂々巡りするだけのようねだったら誰がじゃなくてどうやってで考えてみましょうか特に山田君の死体運搬については話し合う必要がありそうだしそうなんだよねいくら調べても彼の死体を運んだ方法だけは分からなかったんだしかもセレスさんの証言によると We can <coughs> Oh fuck We can now be gone for more than a minute or two though So then the killer was able to get in and move with him his body in that short amount of time? It would seem so. Realistically, there's only one person that could have done it. その不可能を可能にする方法があると言ったらえどんな方法死体自身に移動してもらえばいいのえ死体が勝手に動いたってことやーすイフレかオカルト話がしたいわけじゃないだろうそこの女が言っているのは He wasn't dead. Hell to the yeah. The idea that Hifumi was still alive. Is it really possible? Uh, none of those. <laughs> あの時の山田君は間違いなく死んでいましたが、oh. どうして断言できるのあなたの死体発見アナウンスを聞いたでしょうあれは山田君の死体を発見したからこそ流されたアナウンスのはずですわよ、uh -huh. sure、was. 本当にそうかしら別の誰かの死体に対するアナウンスだった The body discovery announcement was only made once that much I'm sure of Or it was made more than once. I can't fucking tell what it said. And I'm not gonna get hung up on it. Shut up, bitch. Just shut up, Celeste. 
きの死体発見アナウンスって山田君の死体を発見したせいで流れたものなんだ当然ですわだって山田君の死体を発見した直後にあのアナウンスを聞いたのですよ But it also after they found 島田君の死体を発見した人たちも同じだったのさよその通りだ俺たちは石丸の死体を発見した直後にあのアナウンスを聞いているつまり僕たちは勘違いしてたんじゃないかな石丸君の死体発見アナウンスは山田君の死体発見アナウンスだとさそもそも死体が2つ見つかったのであればアナウンスも2回流れるはずだモノクマが横着して1回にまとめただけかもしれないねえ、doesn't sound like モノクマこの点に関してはどうなんだとってもセンシティブな問題だから詳しいことは言えないんだけどそもそも死体発見アナウンスってのはね That actually helped quite a bit, thank you, Monokuma. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. The second body discovery announcement. The first was played when we found each body in the nurse's office and the equipment room. And the second time was when both bodies were rediscovered. Ding dong ding dong! Our body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! I'm glad I got to voice that. Being discovered for the first time. You're pointless. Shut up. There has to be proof that shows if Emmy was still alive. I have to find it and show it to everyone. Seriously, did he just fucking take all of these pieces of evidence with them? That doesn't help. Yes, that is true. Also true. Lies. Monica was just chuckling it up in the back. Hokkien's Yamada Kun and Visit Soko Yamada Kun. 
そこには明らかな違いがあったはずだよ山田君のメガネだよそしてそれが根拠になるはずなんだ保健室の山田君が死んだふりをしてたこと I suppose they came to dust てもらいましょうか最初に保健室で山田君の死体を見つけた時彼のメガネは血で汚れてたんだけど美術倉庫で死体を再発見した時には They were spotless. 山田君のメガネは綺麗になってたんだよしかもメガネの血を拭いたと思われるものも保健室のゴミ箱から見つかったんだ The evidence I found in the trash can in the nerf Trash can in the nurse's office was that ugly little piece of crap. Interesting how Kyoko doesn't need to chime in too much for this one. Yeah. The same is true for me from both of those two. Oh, little Shihiro, no! Shihiro is one of the saddest deaths in this entire series. メガネを切りにして得するのってそのメガネをかけてる本人以外には考えられないよねそうだねそうだってことはやっぱり山田っち自身がだとすると保健室で見つかった時の山田君はまだ生きていたということになるわねそこで死んだふりをしていた彼は
その隙に石丸君の死体を美術倉庫まで運んだのよつまり山田君は単なる被害者じゃなく加害者として事件に関与していたんだだ,だがまさか被害者の山田が事件に関与していたとはそんな信じらんないよ信じられないならもう一つの根拠を見せてあげましょうかまだあなたは、えー、山田君が事件に関与していたことを示す。最大の根拠が残っているか。ナイギ君は分かっているわよね。彼が被害者の。死んだ山田君がパンツの中に隠し持ってたんだ。うん。あいつの。パンツ。sophisticated。パンツ。パンツは置いといてさ。メモの中身を見てくれるかな。I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. Man, Genocide Show is scary, but still, I can't let her get to me. It has everything to do with. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, let's just do that again. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Now, fuck up. Jesus. Making me do fucking mistakes and shit. Yeah, shut up. Shut up and pay attention, Genocide Show. Okay, then. Ja, Ishimaru, Chua. Oreto, Najioni, Sono Memo de Damasaritan, then, eh? Goku, Hido, the Chimonami, the Monai, Lake, Muhina, Hanin, the way. 
I'm sure, is that letting you that they found a way out is what makes them a cold blood monster? Sure, <laughs> she's fucking loving it! Yes. Proof that Hifumi stole the note from Taka. Kiyotaka's scrap of paper. Okay, now stop staring at you fast. Death Crypt just sounds so fucking cool. But it's also really disturbing. イシマルの手の中に残ってしまった。そういうことか。イエーイ。だとすると、山田はその no, he's not, you idiot. Yeah, little goofball. Which leaves us with only one possibility for who it could have been. She's just sitting there like, oh, look at my hair. でも、私とさくらちゃんは一緒だったよ。誰が殺されたんじゃねえぞ、この殺された時間帯もそうだけど、もっと気になることがある。ガワン。もっと気になる。あ、ナウシーチェームズ。ヤマダッチはどんな
それぞれの部屋に置き去りのままだしそもそも人を殺せる威力はなさそうだよえっとだとしたらそれ以外の狂気という可能性もあるんじゃないのかそれ以外の狂気なんてありえねえってだって2人は似たような狂気で殺されてんだぞだったら山田を殺した狂気とは何だったのだ The weapon that was actually used to kill Hifumi. The whole picture surrounding this case won't become clear until we figure that out. Somehow, <coughs> somehow I have to find the truth. Yamada o Koroshita Kyoki. Justice Hamma Sangu n a k ジャスティスハンマー4号なのかどちらにしても犯人はどのようにしてそれらの凶器を持ち運んだのでしょうねしかも誰にも目撃されることなく今明らかになるジャスティスハンマー5号ムーディギュアコンフォーバーサッシュハンマータイムとりあえずはっきりしてるのはどっちかのハンマーが凶器ってことだけか Uh, no, it doesn't. Fuck's sake. I was too slow in the draw. Okay, anyway, I know where to get it, so. Let's just fast forward. Murdergear.com for slash hammer type. Shut up. It wasn't one of them. It was a different one. ジャスティスハンマーじゃなくて別の狂気だったんだよけど別の狂気って美術倉庫のハンマーだよ犯人はあれを狂気に使ったんじゃないかなそれに美術倉庫に残されたハンマーはどれも石の破片や粉なんかが付着してたんだけどそのうちの一つだけがなぜか綺麗に洗われてたんだよ現れてたのそ,そのハンマーが現れたのはそれが山田君を殺した本当の狂気だったノイス犯人は狂気に付着した血痕を洗い流すためにわざわざハンマーを洗ったんじゃないかなしかも美術倉庫の壁には大小さまざまなハンマーがかけられてたんだけどさそのうちのいくつかは歯抜けになってたんだジャスティスハンマー自体にここのハンマーを元にして作られたんじゃないかなであれば同じような狂気という条件を一致するなでは山田は石丸の死体を美術倉庫まで運んだ直後その場にあるハンマーで殺されたのかそれをやったのが真犯人山田と共犯で最終的に裏切ったやつ Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and why is that? We did, but that was only whenever there was one murder. We did talk about there, how there were. Wouldn't be how there wouldn't be any,、oh, for fuck's sake, how there wouldn't be any reason to be someone's accomplice. At least that's what we thought at first, but. It's not impossible. The possibility of an accomplice really that insane, or is there some chance? I, I like to shoot the little purple ones. Shut up, Celeste. You're not part of this. Shut up.
でも今回は2つの事件が起きてたんだだったら共犯関係も成り立つんじゃないかなどういう意味だ共犯者の存在が考えられないのは起きた事件が1つだった場合にあしたは何が起きたのか1つの事件で助かるのが1人だけなのかそれは何が起きたのか1人だけなのかそれは何が起きたのか1人だけなのかそれは何が起きたのか1人だけなのかそれは何が起きたのか1人だけなのかそれは何が起きたのか1人だけなのかそれは何が起きたのか1人だけなのかそれは何が起きたのか1共犯する意味なんてないでも逆にその天秤作用さえ成立すれば誰かと共犯関係になることは不可能ではないか2人の犯人が2つの殺人を犯し互いの殺人の共犯者になればいいということか真犯人はその計画を山田君に持ちかけたのだ自分の犯行の共犯をさせるためにおそらく。最初に石丸君を殺したのは山田君だったはずよ先に彼に殺人を起こさせ逃げられなくした上で自分の計画を手伝わせたのよ、oh, 今回の事件は一人の犯人による連続殺人なのかじゃなくて一人の犯人が起こした二つの事件だったんだよそれが一連の連続殺人に見えたのは全て犯人の偽装工作によるものだったんだ顔を隠した不審者似たような狂気そして死体消失 Wow, it's almost like the true killer is really good at lying これらの共通点を作り上げることで一連の犯行が同一犯によって行われていると見せかけようとしたんだ犯人はその計画を共犯者に持ちかけそして共犯者を得ることに成功し最後にその共犯者を殺すことで一番の懸念材料をも消し去ったというわけかとなると山田を裏切ったのも当初からの計画通りだったんだろうな Not that hard to believe な,なのその計画っていくらなんでも残酷すぎるよそうかなかなかよくできた計画じゃないか共犯者の人選は別だがな The effort made to convince us the two murders were the same. That was the main characteristic this time. Kyoko must have noticed that. Uh, uh, Kyoko must have noticed that fact from the very beginning. Which is why she said not to look at it as a series of connected events, but entirely separate incidents. Kyoko really is amazing. Although, when you think about it, she's almost too amazing. It, like, it's almost unnatural how good she is at this. Not that big a problem. The true killer manipulated Tafumi to carry out a number of actions and in the end, murdered him. In the debates up till now, The way the case has unfolded, when you consider all that, there's really only one person who seems to fit. Dun 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 dun. Which is a shame because I like her. Yes. No joke, bitch. それはどうかなでは私と山田君が組んでいたとおっしゃるのですね。そんな私と山田君が組んでいたなんて。そんなことあるわけねえだろそこけが誰があんな下手でと組むつもりだ。Someone got the fence for? The fence for 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 の一連の事件においてお前らだけは共通してある行動をとっていたそれが根拠になるんだよお前らが組んでいたことのな
Why is it that Fumi and Celeste had in common, encountering the suspicious individual? ジャスティスロボを目撃してるのってセレスさんとヤマダ君だけだったのねシャバルナいいベッチいい。まあ、苗木の言う通り、例の不審者を目撃しているのはヤマダとセレスの二人だけだった。そのヤマダが犯人の
そう思わないかセレスさあ何のことでしょう of course you don't のぼけても無駄だお前は決定的なミスを犯しているんだミス最初にあれを聞いた時はさほど深刻には考えなかったが今となってははっきりと言えるあれはお前の犯した致命的なミスだとな何のことでしょう山田の死体消失を聞いた俺たちが保健室に戻った直後の話だ They must really be enjoying this Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. We are all going to die here. We're going to die just like those guys died. その後遅れてきた苗木から山田殺害の件を聞き俺と大神は苗木と一緒に物理準備室を後にしたそして廊下に出たところでセレスと会い俺たちは4人で保健室に向かうことになったんだその間俺たちは石丸の死については一切何も話していないんだそう考えるとセレスのあの発言は極めて不自然いや不自然すぎるんだよあの発言だの不自然だのいまいち意味がわからんのだけどおいセレスみんなが困ってるぞみんなのためにもう一度同じ発言をしてやれよ Here we go, here we go. お前が犯人じゃないならできるはずだぞビアキア said its last comment doesn't make much sense But what is he alluding to? Uh, none of those. A taxi no hats again a cordista. Marde Tanoshin de Rio de Sidane. A taxi that she go be it, don't know Sidon and meet it. Tanoshin de Rio de Sidon. Tom Mamma that do. 全員殺されてしまいます。彼らのように殺されてしまいます。以上でしたが。これで分かっただろう。セレスの発言の不自然な反応。Okay then, let me just point out what was so strange about it. 私のまるで楽しい。私たちが怯え、本楽しんでいるこのままだと彼らのように。There you go. That was the strange thing about it. So, the Kareda no Yoni Korosarilu and the Hatsgen were Anotoki no Selesan could have detected her as nine day. That Anotoki Bukara, mother Selesan, Ishmaku no King would start an Akata style. Shikam or let us get a Seles to Atanoa, Yoka and get out on a photo. そいつには物理準備室の死体を見る機会もなかったはずだそれなのにセレスさんはどうして知っていたのか殺されたのは一人じゃなくて彼らしかも男だったってことさだってあの時はキリギリさんも姿を消してたんだ彼女が殺された可能性だってあったはずだよ<笑>あお皆さん想像力が豊かなのですね想像だと先ほどあなた方はおっしゃっていましたわね私が不審者を目撃した証言は全て嘘だとでしたがこの画像はどうなるのです不審者が山田君を連れ去っているこの画像についてはどう説明をつけるおつもりですかそれも捏造だろう Indeed. セレスッチがあの衣装を着て、no. そんでデジカメのタイマーを使って撮影した。No. No, 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 no. お忘れですかあの衣装は、ハガクレ君にしか着られないはずですわよ。それに、このデジカメには
サイマー機能なんてついておりませんつまり不審者が山田君を連れ去ったというのは揺るぎない事実なのです、oh, really? Really? この画像が何なのかを説明していただけますかそもそもその画像って本当に不審者が山田君を連れ去っているところなのかしらどういう意味ですか We know your game. 不審者が山田君を連れ去ったわけじゃなくて他の可能性だってあるんじゃないかしら他の可能性なんてあるわけないですよね。No, there is other If it wasn't a picture of the suspect dragging her Fumi away, the only other possibility is if Fumi is dragging the suspect away. This is a picture of the suspect dragging her Fumi away. Ah, it got over. Here we go. Celeste thinks she can prove there is no way Hifumi was dragging the suspect away. But is that really possible? Nope. Uh, the robot justice costume is what we need. Ah, so. Uh huh. Go on. Yes, there is. You can't abandon it, love. So shut the fuck up. No bendy at the waisty. You totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. It was intentional. <laughs> Checkmate, bitch. Uh oh. Crazy bitch going crazy. Look at that face. Uh, 
Oh great, I need to voice him again. Hey, you threw me. Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Yes, sir. Hero. Not necessarily, bitch. Oh, ironic. I like it. He said people's last names. There's one person it can apply to. Right now you look like a fucking loser. Doc, look at that Voldemort face. Celeste still won't give up, so then, I have to do something to make her accept it. Bitch, you fucked. It's the Ehan book. I love how that fucking goes upside down, that's amazing. Yes, we do. Bitch. Huh? <laughs> This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now this isn't your everyday notebook. 
It has so many more uses than just that. セレスさんの本名がさ。プライバシーの侵害ですわ。見せませんわよ。セレスさん。そろそろ本当のことを言ってくれないかな。本当のことさ。私は大手されたとしても。諦めない立ちなんです。だって、だって、だって、だって、だって、だって。だって。完全に決着するまでは何があるかわかりませんね。Bitch is already over. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Uh, there it is. Then, oh, this, that, er, let's see. Yeah, it would be that. That. Uh, this. Hmm. Then it would be that. Let's see. Then it would be this. And then we have that. Uh, finally, we'll have this. Holy fuck, that looked like Jinko a little bit if you look at it, like, really quickly. Ew, not attractive.彼らはまず昨日の深夜 Christ, all of the effort put into fucking doing all of that. Oh my god. It's actually hard to believe Celeste would actually do something like that. She a lazy bitch. そして午前 the way Makoto was drawn there reminds me of Nagito from the second game. Same voice actor and everything in the English version. 
娯楽室での襲撃事件だったそこで犯人はジャスティスハンマー1号と例のジャスティスロゴの画像を僕らに見せることでその襲撃事件を僕らに信じ込ませようとしたんだそして2件目の偽装図書室での襲撃事件の時は傷ついた山田君とジャスティスハンマー2号を見せつけることで事件を捏造したんだこうして2件の襲撃事件にでっち上げることで犯人たちは僕らにある先入観を植え付けたんだ謎の不審者がハンマーを大きくしながら次々と人を襲ってるってね Make sense. そしてそれを信じ込んでしまった僕らはすぐにその不審者の捜索を始めたんだけど I also don't get why they ask, why they don't ask how the fuck she took that photo whenever she was supposed to be attacked. You can't do both. そして山田君の悲鳴を聞いて戻ってきた僕らはそれを発見したんだしかもその時物理準備室で私は何を見つけたのか私は何を見つけたのか私は何を見つけたのか私は何を見つけ僕らは山田君が死んだと勘違いしてしまったんだこうして僕らを騙した山田君は保健室が無人となった一瞬の隙をついて保健室から抜け出したんだその後山田君の死体が消えたと知った僕らは慌てて保健室に集まってしまったその隙をつき今度は物理準備室に忍び込んだ山田君は君の死体をビニールシートで包み台車を使って美術倉庫まで運搬したんだこれが死体消失事件の真相だよやまだくんは知らなかったんだ全てを操る真犯人の犯行計画の結末を。である山田君を殺すことだったんだ現場である美術倉庫にあったハンマーでねこれが今回の事件の全てだよそしてこの計画を実行していた主犯の人物はイエイリビュータイム I love these They look so awesome Boom, bitch. Yes, you do. So, Nakoto Bauki Tanuma. It's sweet, I did show. Oh, my. Otobad is. Ah, stop the fucking dramatics. Give me a hand in that photo. Yeah, this one. Give me the note. So, Nakio Jimita in a chibri. セレスティア・ルーデンベルクいえもしくは安弘太鼓っていいですわ安弘太鼓ようやく認めたか、うん、負けを宣告されてあがくほど王将際は悪くありません Good, this video is a bit too long as it is. I think I'll stop it maybe after the execution Yes, give me my mono coins so that I can pass off. Monokuma san? So they were Hajimete Kudasaru? Ye? Oarasete Kudasaru? This one, eh? It's the beginning of the end. Oh, much canino. Oh, time. This, eh? Eh, 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 eh
始めましょうかではお前らはお手元のスイッチで投票してくださいさて投票の結果黒となるのは誰なのかその答えは正解なのか不正解なのかさあどうなんだHooray, we got it right, even though there's no fucking chance of you getting it wrong. It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you're totally correct. Now, Black, in this time, the true killer who devised the whole stinking scheme was. Celestia Lindenberg! Or, more precisely, Taco Yasuhiro! I lost. Well, that sucks. I guess trying to work with someone else was a, a mistake after all. Ifumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. So you really did approach Ifumi with this plan. But how did you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would have happily agreed to commit murder. <laughs> I'm sure she relied on her specialty. Lying. <laughs> My specialty? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to lie to him that much. Yeah. Then what did you use? <sighs> you know? I knew you'd figure it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get Ifumi to act as my accomplice. I used her. For everyone who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but... It was the one thing Hifumi and Taka were both super into. Does she mean... Is she talking about alter ego? What? What, what, what? What are you talking about? Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. I'm totally out of the loop as usual. How sad. And then you're the one who stole it? That's right. And you used it to drag Hifumi into the plan you'd come up with. Right again. Last night, after we had our meeting about how it disappeared, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Oh, um, what are you doing here? I was hoping I could talk to you, alone. It's about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? It was Taka. He stole it. What? And I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I'd found a use for the digital camera. I'd taken you-know-what to Taka's room earlier and took some pictures of it there. I deleted the pictures as soon as I'd shown it to Fumi, of course. Yeah, so it was him. Well, how did he use it? Well, how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if I know us got close to her. <sighs> you are correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal her. What? Please forgive me. He, he threatened me. He, he did? He came into my room last night unannounced, and then... It's hard for me to even say. He... Abused me. What? And he he took pictures. He said if I did not do as I was asked, he would show them to everyone. So I I had no choice. That's a crime, an absolute crime. He I mean, I knew he'd gone a little crazy, but I'd never imagined he would go that far. It was amazing how completely I he bought it. <laughs> I can't express how enjoyable it was. I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna f f fucking kill him. Wait, please. If you go now, you'll be playing right into his hands. Huh? 
Thakir is planning to use her to escape, and he has made you his target. Escape? You don't mean... Thakir is going to try and kill you. What? what? And all so he can keep her to himself. Oh, that bastard. Bastard, 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 bastard. Can we allow him to continue his barbaric acts? Absolutely not. How could I? She... I have to save her. Then why don't you join with me? It just so happens I have come up with a plan. Huh? I have devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> and with that, it is complete. Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Yufumi agreed without a second thought. <laughs> the effect that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love. Even a love as twisted as that can still drive people mad, it would seem. What? You disgust me. I have another question for you. Was that strange costume Hifumi's creation? Yeah, it was a real pain in the butt too. All I asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. I had no idea he would make something like that. But it's my fault for picking him in the first place. So, why did you decide to make me a suspect? Because you're stupid. That's it? And in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. Life must be so tough on your parents. I feel like I could cry. But when you were explaining your plan to Fumi, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? What she's asking is, what was Hifumi supposed to do after that, assuming you had let him live? And that's simple. After he did his part and pretended to be dead, once someone showed up, I told him to say he had been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he just barely held on. And he really believed that? Well, of course. That wasn't all there was to it. As I explained to Fumi, the plan was... While you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Hifumi would have an alibi so no one could doubt him. I told him that and he believed it. <laughs> it all seems very straightforward, stereotypical. <laughs> I just matched the lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, Hifumi ate it up. He believed the lie wholeheartedly. Right up until the moment of his death. So you plan to kill him all along? But of course. There would have been no point in my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. How can human life mean so little to you? That's non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. You sound like Byakuya. No, he derives pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Then maybe... Then what made you take things this far? Was it really just the money? Are you talking about the ten million dollars Monokuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. But it's not all there is to it. From the moment our new life began here, my only thought has been escape. But all along you've been saying how you, you we should accept living here. Obviously that was a lie. Yeah. I can take it. I hated it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. 
I wanted to get out. Every day was fresh torture. And do you know what? And do you want to know why, huh? Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would mean nothing less than giving up my dream forever. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to be a metaphorical ki to make a metaphorical killing. And it was all for that dream. And what was this dream of yours? To live in a European castle? Castle? And to gather handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butler slash bodyguards. I was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need. Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of decadence. Living the rest of my life, there was my only dream, my only goal. That's what life is all about. <sighs> Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's $10 million would have made that dream a reality. I got right to the edge, but... Unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream until the very end, so why would I? You sound so passionate, but you were really able to kill your friends for it. Are you trying to make me feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavor. I think not. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. That's all there is to me. That's what makes me complete. <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. That, that's what we should be saying, and plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> My ability to lie is unrivaled, and I take pride in that. It's not just other people. I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious deceives the unconscious. And that's why you're not scared? That's right. I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. But you know, if I can be reincarnated, if I had a choice, then I think I would like to come back as Marie Antoinette. You just got executed again. <laughs> Celeste smiled then. And when she did, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed she could fill her own feelings. But that statement itself must have been her final lie. And that weak fake smile was what betrayed her. Yeah, then? Okay, let's get rolling. The black and disturb the peace and must pay the price. Now then, I'm gonna pre I've prepared a special punishment for her, the ultimate gambler. I guess I'll let Kyoku. Oh. This is. そうは思えませんでしたわ。だからこそ。いいえ。打足。ですわね。それでは。ご機嫌よ。また来世でお会いしましょう。No, oh, well, very civil way to meet your execution. I guess. Yeah, after the execution, I am just going to, like, stop it. Because I did not have time. Damn, look at this shit. The burning of the Versailles Witch.
And the music and the aesthetic just makes it so creepy and ominous. I love it. And then this happens. Just ow. <laughs> that is all I can think. <laughs> Little fireman Monogura. Oh, so cute. Oh. Okay, that's our execution for this trial. And yes, it is over. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one, where we are going to start Chapter 4. Okay, so thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye!